this morning, guys. I'm Mike. And I'm Stephanie. And we're Van Life Sheldon's Travels. Sheldon, he's a little yellow belly slider turtle. He's swimming around in the tank this morning. But today, we're still here at the Itcha... How do you say it? it Itcha Tucky? Itcha Tucky uh, we'll campground. I'll just put it here on the bottom. I, you know I butcher these Indian names, but we're at a really great campground here. And if you haven't seen the past video of this, go check it out. One of us coming here and getting checked in and everything. Definitely. But today we got something exciting. We're going to go out on a kayak, guys, and go exploring right here on the river. It's right here next to the state park. So we're going to take, they're going to take us over. We're going to go in the water on a kayak, on a double kayak, and spend the day on the, on the river just enjoying, just paddling down. And we're going to bring you along as much as we can. This isn't a waterproof camera, but I'm going to do my best to keep it good to go and, and just push the boundaries a little bit. We do have insurance on it, so if something happens, it is what it is, guys. You take your chances. But we're going to enjoy the day and bring you guys along, so let's get the day Here's Summer's place. Like I told you guys, she has a van just like ours. Here's the kayaks. And the bathhouse. They're getting us all loaded up. Here's the Itchawacha Springs State Park entrance, the north entrance. It's a tucky. And if you use the uh, campgrounds tour here, they'll basically take you in here to the north entrance and then he'll pick you up on the south entrance after you've done the river. Well, we're coming down. We got them all the way down here to the launch ramp. We're gonna come on in here. That's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna put the camera down for a second. We'll get back at you in a moment. All right, guys. We made it out. There's Steffi. We each have our own kayak. Thank you, Summer. Greatly appreciate that. Pretty flowers. Yeah, that's all you need to do, right? All right, guys, as we head down the river here, we'll get back at you. Really don't have to paddle, guys. Look, guys, look at all the turtles. They're all posing. Look at this guy with his feet up. Well, we have a series of unfortunate events. Mike's boat started sinking, and we thought that was weird. And then he went underwater. He really sank. And come to find out, the bottom of his canoe has a hole in it. So his boat was filling up with water as he was sinking. And thankfully, these kind, helpful people are stopped here and they're trying to help us figure out how are we going to get this canoe and Mike out of here. Well, that's Mike on his boat. We were able to get him out, get him unstuck. He is floating now. Well, we got Mike out of that situation, but I don't know. We might have to keep stopping and dumping his canoe because it looks like his back end's already in the water again. Yeah. So we might have to find a spot where we could beach. Mike can sit in here with me and we could just tow that one. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna, what's gonna happen in a day, right guys? That's why we always bring the camera along. I've never towed a kayak before. 
Oh, wow. Well, guys, we're, we stopped here a second time to try to get the, some more water out of here this time. And as you can see, it was just a constant flow. But we were able to find the little area that we were able to get the kayaks that Mike's kind of on an incline. So he's able to work with gravity to get all the water out of his canoe. Pause the tape there and I'll take you over here and show you the hole. Oh, there it is, guys. I did shove some packets of, like, juice packet in there with some foil, hoping to slow the water down, but nope, it's still steadily flowing out of here. Looks like we'll be stopping and doing this a couple more times. We didn't bring Sheldon, and we're seeing all his relatives today. Got the big, big guy over there, and a little guy looking at us. Oh, Mike's boat seems to be holding up. Cross your fingers for this. Right. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if you guys got to see that. See more turtles. Huge blue herring. I love how they stick their feet out like Sheldon does. <laughs> Look at all the turtles. It looks like right here is midpoint landing. So we still got a canoe pass and power lines, and then we're looking for dock number three. So this might be the first dock. So we got two more docks before our dock, which is where we exit. Yeah. Got some people tubing. It looks like we're not the only kayakers anymore. It looks like we got a couple more kayakers. Look at that guy with his feet out, like Sheldon. They like the bass with their feet out, don't they? Yeah, they do. Oh. Not a blue heron, but one of those big, nice white birds. Well, guys, we stopped right here. This log... And we kind of just stopped here to assess the situation. It, the first time I took one of those little packets, I think it's right here, one of these little things you put in water and shoved it in there. One of the girls had one of those in her bag. And uh, so I shoved that in there. She gave me, she dumped out her Jolly Ranchers and gave me the foil bag for that. 
I put that in my pocket. And when we stopped at that second landing over there, this had already came loose inside the boat. So I got it out so it wouldn't end up in the spring because I don't want that to happen. That's not good. And I am thankful they showed up because we have a bag, but it's only got our lunch bags in it. Yeah. And a couple of cans and our little baggies and our cans wouldn't have done Doesn't nothing. much. So. so I am so thankful and grateful yeah, that there's that... somebody else on there. And then Mike was able to patch it with, like, I think the trash that was Yeah, the in trash, the, 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 uh, the Jolly Rancher bag, when we got all the water out at the second spot, the first spot I didn't get all the water out, I don't think. And I was able to really put that bigger bag in there, it's foil, and was able to shove it in the hole in the crack. And for now, it's kind of holding, guys. I am still soaking wet, but oh well, you know, it is what it is, and you do what you do. And I do see a little bit of water in the back, so yeah, we are watching. We're watching it, but like they always used to tell me, you know, a bad day out on the water is still a better day here in the office. So it is what it is, and you know, you just take things as they come and enjoy it. We'll be fine. We'll make it back to shore. You know, like, it's not the end of the world. But, you know, you never know what's going to happen here. And Oh, wow. Something's flipping out in the water over there. But, all right, guys. We're just going to keep moving and heading down the stream. We, I think there was a sign saying there's like 25 minutes maybe to the nearest thing. But we'll figure it out. You know. Oh, well. Looks like we're coming up on one of the exit points. Okay, we're coming up on another exit point. As you can see, Mike, the back of his kayak is kind of getting close to the water. And last time when that happened, he just ended up sinking real fast. So we're going to pull over here at this exit point, dump the water out of his kayak, and continue on. All right, well... Actually, this isn't another exiting point. This is our stop, so luckily we were supposed to get out here anyway, so it's a good thing we had to stop and dump the water. But as you could see, there was a lot of water in the boat. I didn't do it. So, so I kind of went swimming. Kind of? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, up here? No, no, literally the back end just immediately as I was going, I was sinking. Look at that, it's still coming out. So you're going to do what he said. And I just gradually just got off because then I tried to, I beached it, opened the plug just like this. <clears throat> No, the people in the canoe had a bag of Jolly Ranchers, like I said, right, right. shoved it in the hole in the crack, and I said, well, we'll stop a couple times. I made for a good video. <laughs> Look at all I that one. I don't know if that's for you. Oh, I was in waiting. I was in waiting. I was not in waiting. I was not in waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Like I said, fun times on the river. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> I was just glad it was huh? not her. <laughs> been, like, <laughs> I mean, right now he's soaking wet, head to toe. He can't tell. Not in the beginning, no. No, he was a hole in the ground. And I mean, no more than we got around the corner. We need to get away from those people. In the car. All right, guys. Well, what I did to fix it or kind of slow down the leak, as you can see, I put in a bag of Jolly Ranchers foil, shoved it in there. It's the best I could do to get it up there. But it got us here safely, and that's all that matters. Good job, MacGyver. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, after that, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, you I just got the lucky the lucky kayak today, that's all. But who cares, you know? But we made it back here to camp. I got a nice hot shower. We're all good. And I think they're getting ready to start a bonfire over here for everyone. Because this whole campground is completely full. So they're going to have a bonfire tonight. We'll take you over there and I'm sure we'll make some dinner.